हेलो नमस्कार 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 माय नेम इज पूजा द्विवेदी वेलकम टू माय क्लास टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द इंटेंसिफाइंग बैटल बिटवीन लूना ट्वेंटी फाइव एंड चंद्रयान थ्री रशिया हैज बिकम दैट फ्रेंड ऑफ इंडिया हु सेज आई मे नॉट बी एबल टू जॉइन यू फॉर अ पार्टी बिकॉज आई एम गोइंग थ्रू अ क्राइसिस बट देन कम्स टू द पार्टी एंड एंड अप लुकिंग द मोस्ट फैबुलस एंड इसरो हैज कॉन्ग्रेचुलेटेड रशिया even though russia is going through such a big turmoil it has shown its space prowess by launching the luna 25 in almost 50 years russia did not launch any lunar mission but any lunar mission to land but what russia has done is give india a really tough competition earlier we were thinking that we may become the first ever country to do technology demonstration of soft landing on the south pole of the moon now russia is saying wait a minute i am coming and that is what is going to happen so we are going to hear discuss on what premises we are saying that luna 25 may land before chandrayaan 3 we are going to discuss that so do not worry about making notes because i provide you the notes through the form of pdf that i am taking on my telegram channel that is by the name of pooja devedi upsc if you have any queries regarding this examination you can also talk to me on my instagram so these are the many aspects that we are going to cover first of all let us talk about what is the actual news the vikram lander has successfully detached from the propulsion system and now these two are going their different ways the lander will de boost that means it will slow down in such a manner that it will finally do soft landing possibly on the 23rd of august why do i say possibly because there is always a backup okay but still we are aiming for august 23rd for many reasons we'll discuss that as well so it will de boost to place it in an orbit where the perilu that is the closest point to the moon is 30 km opulu is the farthest point from the moon is 100 km propulsion system will continue on collecting data for its own usage all right so we know that chandrayaan 3 it was launched on july 14th and it is supposed to do soft landing on august 23rd it's very thrilling it's going to be a very thrilling battle between russia our dearest friend and india and chandrayaan 3 actually consists of three things three important things three important modules first is the indigenous lander module which is by the name of vikram in chandrayaan 2 also we had vikram but vikram back then crash landed hard landed and hence the main thing that it was supposed to do to do scientific research on the lunar surface by showing a technology demonstration of soft landing it wasn't achieved then we have a propulsion module whose main aim was to carry the lander to its actual place which it has already done it will still continue on carrying the scientific collection of data then we have a rover that means the pragyan rover will move on the terrain of the moon it is going to show look what i am doing i am able to move on the moon and this is also one of a very important technology demonstration to build india's image in the entire world of a great space faring nation this is what india wants to achieve the main objective the lander and the rover will have scientific payloads to carry experiments and of course if we talk about the missions of it first is to demonstrate a soft landing which is safe in nature on the lunar surface and also the rover roving on the moon roving means moving on the moon and to conduct in situ that means scientific experiments will be conducted on the lunar surface itself this is what we want to do in case we want to have a base on the lunar surface one day what kind of experiments could be carried do we have proper water availability over there so that more interplanetary missions can be taken on further from there this is what chandrayaan 3 wants to do if india does it before luna 25 it will be a great deal and this is something that all the scientists of isro must be thinking right now because luna 25 was supposed to be launched in 2021 so we were like okay fine uh, maybe you will be able to do it we do not have any problem please russia go ahead but because of the situation of ukraine this was delayed 10 years 
possibly 10 years have been given to Luna 25 by the engineers so that proper soft landing can be done. Landing in itself is a challenge. Soft landing on the south pole is a much bigger challenge because of the trajectory of the sun. Sunlight should be available on the spot on which one wants to land because sunlight will help in providing power to the solar panels that are actually propelling the landers. Okay, that is why. Now, moving on. Now, what is a propulsion module in Chandrayaan 3? We have to know that. It carries the lander module from launch vehicle injection when we, uh, you know, put the launch vehicle in the outer space till final lunar orbit. Okay. And it will now continue to collect data for itself. It will do that. Also, the propulsion system consists of one scientific payload that is shape. Shape means the spectropolarimetry of habitable planet Earth payload. This is a value addition that has been done to the propulsion system. Why waste it? And it will do the spectral and polarity metric measurement of Earth from the lunar orbit. So that it can also look for other habitable planets or those who can help the Earth to achieve more interplanetary missions. So the propulsion system will remain in the orbit, continue to, it will continue to gather data with respect to that. Now, Chandrayaan-3 has the biggest plan right now to do the soft landing on the south pole of the moon. Even if we lose from Russia when it comes to Luna 25, we will be able to be, you know, we will be able to be in the top three at least, top two at least. But still, Israel doesn't want that. Israel wants that we should be the first nation. And that what every nation's aspirant should aspiration should be whenever they are, you know, going for such a big particular mission. Now, Luna 25, it was launched on August 11th, much later than Chandrayaan 3. But because of the large amount of fuel and the linear mass that it has, it has been able to reach the lunar orbit, you know, at the same pace as, you know, Chandrayaan 3 is right now. So, we have to understand it from that perspective. There are certain things that Luna 25 is better at than Chandrayaan 3. So, launch vehicle is Soyuz 2.1B frigate and it was launched from Vostochny Cosmodrome in Russia. Also, the mission is to take and analyze the soil samples that are present over there and dust components and lunar polar exhaust pair. Duration is a lot, one year. For Chandrayaan 3, it is just 14 Earth days. Communication equipment, science apparatus, computers, everything is present in Luna 25. Other than this, and uh, solar panels are also there. This will get help from the solar rays. Lander is also equipped with 1.6 meter lunar robotic arm so that it can collect samples. Four legged base is there landing or uh, for landing of the lander. Okay. So you have to remember that lander is, uh, you know, almost having the similar sort of mission. But the biggest thing is that where do these land as in the places where they land have to be lit up by sunrise. I'll tell you that as well. See, there is also a different difference in lift-off mass. Lift-off mass for Chandrayaan-3 was 3900 kg and Luna-25 is 1750 kg. So, it's much, uh, you know, its lift-off mass is much lighter. And this has given it the accelerator boost. Luna-25 can be accelerated much easily as compared to Chandrayaan-3. The landing site is 69.36 degrees south, 32.34 degrees east for Chandrayaan 3. For, you know, uh, uh, Luna 25, it's 69.54 degrees south and 43.54 degrees east. I will also show you the comparison where they are going to land. Also, the mission life for Chandrayaan 3 is 14 days, for Luna is 25 days. This is why it is very important for Chandrayaan 3 that we land our lander much ahead because the mission life to collect soil samples and do in situ experiment is just 14 days for luna 25 is one year so time constraint is not a problem for luna 25 it is very important for india india's chandrayaan 3 also luna and luna 25 and chandrayaan 3's trajectory is very different because the first when we launched chandrayaan 3 we had to make it economical. That means we did not have a lot of fuel for Chandrayaan-3. So we made many earthbound maneuvers. What does that mean? 
we raised the orbit of the chandrayaan 3 one by one of the earth orbit so that it can take the advantage of the gravity and uh, at times thrusters were also helping it timely turning on of the thrusters when it did that it went to the orbit of the moon and now using gravity and the thrusters it is coming down and when the propulsion system reached at a particular place it said bye bye to the lander saying now you go on your own but what did luna do luna just did it few times and it had a direct route because it has a lot of fuel we do not have a lot of fuel that is why I, our journey is circuitous that means indirect while luna 25 is more direct if we talk about the actual direct journey it could be for any space uh, for any lunar mission it will be four days there is a four days journey from the earth to the moon if we provide a lot of fuel to any space mission and luna 25 is taking almost like from 11th to 21 it's taking like 10 days 21 is the date which has been actually very suitable for luna 25 why because of the place of landing and there the sunrise will be much earlier when it comes to the place of landing for chandrayaan 3 so this is the reason why we are saying it see respective mass and fuel efficiency are the two most important factors where we are going to compare these two luna 25 has a leaner lift off mass which is very lighter than significantly lighter than chandrayaan 3 so it becomes easier for it to accelerate forward then luna 25 surplus fuel is another you know very important factor over here because chandrayaan 3's fuel carrying capacity is very less because we had to make it economical right and that is why it is using a more circuitous or indirect journey while luna 25 is making a direct route also as you see this is going to be the difference chandrayaan 3 approximately landing location and luna 25 is 118 kilometers away also specifically if we talk about luna 25 will be landing at the boguslawski crater and here the sunlight or sunrise will be much earlier than Chandrayaan 3's space. And why do we need sunrise over there? Because it will provide power to the solar panels of the lander so that it can use that energy to do soft landing on the moon. For Luna 25, it is going to be as early as August 2021. But for uh, Chandrayaan 3, the perfect date could be August 23, specifically 7, uh, 1747 IS time, Indian Standard Time. We have to see which one lands first. All right, moving on. Make sure that you are a part of this race. So this is a prelims question that you have to solve for me to take your name in the upcoming class. Which of the following is the largest crater on the moon? South Pole, Aitken Basin, Boguslavsky, Grimaldi, Copernicus. Okay, largest crater on the moon. Now Vikram and Pragyan, these are solar powered and they have a mission lifetime of 14 days, 14 earth days, which is one lunar daytime. And because of this, we have a less, lesser time as compared to Luna 25. It has a lot of time to do scientific experiments, but it is important and imperative for India's Chandrayaan 3 to land at a much earlier date so that we have a full-fledged time to do our scientific in situ experiments. What about landing? Is it going to successfully land the Chandrayaan 3 and the Luna 25C? For this century, only China has landed successfully uh, when it comes to its Chang'e's mission 3, 4 and 5. But Russia's last interplanetary mission, which was Phobos grant in order to collect sample from the Mars moon, Phobos, it failed to get out on the low, in the low Earth orbit in 2011. And recently, Israel and Japanese companies have also tried to land on the moon which have failed and that is why it is important that India lands soft lands on the south pole of the moon now because there is a possible presence of ice trapped water uh, water it is important that India becomes the first country in order to declare that properly also India and Russia aim to land further south than any other previous lunar touchdown south of the equator and that is why it is important for both these countries to do a soft landing also technology demonstration technology superiority that's that is another thing 
Russia is now planning on launching further lunar probes after this. 26, Luna 26 will be in 2027. 27 will be a year later and Luna 28 no earlier than 2030. And through these missions, Russia will become a part of the China-led International Lunar Research Station, not the Artemis of the USA. India is planning a joint mission with Japan, which is named by Lunar Polar Exploration Mission. The country has also signed up the Artemis Accord in order to go through programs of the Artemis moon missions. Okay, moving on. Now, if we talk about the actual result that either of these countries can give us, superiority of their space missions, showing of technological demonstration so that more countries can join these countries together and more foreign foreign uh, money can flow in these countries take our missions as well so that is the biggest deal that india could crack from here another thing is that whenever india as it is one of the space pairing countries is in any of such missions it is cementing its position in the global image and that is why it is very important for india to achieve this I hope you understood this topic well. That's it. Thank you so much for watching.